Today, I'll teach you how to create your very own threaded bolt and nut in Tinkercad. We'll get started online and go through each step to complete the project, and then we'll 3D print the item to see exactly how it turns out. Let's get started. Tinker time. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go over here to the right and we're going to select shape generators. Okay, in the bottom left corner, you'll see we have the bolt threads. We'll take those and move them out. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is go back to the basic shapes, click on that and go down to the hexagon. Now we'll move that out just like that. And now it's 20 millimeters tall. And so we want to take that down to five millimeters. Okay. And now that's 1732 by 20. So five millimeters. We're going to leave it like this. Okay. Now when it comes to the threads, if you click on that, you'll see how there is a diameter, pitch, segments, rotations, tip scale, tip segments, and thread scale. Okay, so the diameter, if we look at this here and we turn that, it'll make it obviously wider or more narrow. Okay, so we want to leave that where we're looking at 1029 by 1029. That's fine. Just uh, you can see right here in the diameter. All right, when it comes to segments, we're going to take that and we're just going to, as you can see what it's doing, let's look right here and we increase the segments. It's making it tighter or looser, as you can see. Okay. And then rotations, taller or smaller. Okay. And then we go to tip scale. As you can see, we change that and it's changing right here. This tip scale is going to change how narrow the little plastic piece is here as it inserts into the thread channel. So, and then thread scale, as you can see, this will change the threads from being thicker or thinner okay so we want to leave that all the way up okay all right that looks pretty good what we're going to do is we're going to select both of these objects and we're going to align them okay we're going to use that alignment tool to get that perfectly centered in here as you can see now it's a little bit lower than the, in the actual platform or we'll click on the threads and then the the black arrow here we'll just move that it was down by one millimeter, so we're gonna move that up to zero. And now, as you can see, the parts are flush. Okay, so it's centered, it's flush. Now what we're gonna do is make a duplicate. So select both of these objects and hit Control D. We're gonna move the duplicate over. Now on the first one, we're going to select both objects again, and then we will combine those objects, okay? Now those are, that's just one piece. So we have our bolt effectively. Now what we're going to do is take the thread part for this piece and hit control arrow down. Okay. And that's just going to seat it. I'll just keep going down to where we seat it about halfway like that. Okay. And now what we want to do is we're going to put this thread pattern. We're going to put it into this by making this a hole and subtracting it from it. Okay. But what we want to do is make sure that when I go, when we go to screw in the threads into this, into this nut, uh, that it fits, that's not too tight. So now that we have this selected as a whole under diameter, where it says 1029, we'll just make that, we'll just go one millimeter bigger. So 1129, so 11.29. Okay. And that just made it just a little bit, little bit bigger. Okay, so now we're going to select both objects and then we will combine those. And now you have your thread pattern inside the nut. So theoretically, this will just screw right down onto the bolt. All right. Next thing to do is to 3D print it and see how it turns out. Okay, looks like we have our object here that 3D printed great. The threads are strong and looks like they go together pretty smoothly. If you 3D print one of these from your design from following this video, please let me know in the comments how it turned out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Tinker Time.